And because when we had a little Uzi vert here, he was I saw that. Yeah, he he, you know, I thought he was a, a rapper and he was like, nah, I'm a rock star. I'm not a rock star. But you're not a rock star. It wasn't too long ago that both Lil Yachty and Lil Uzi Vert were both thrust into the spotlight with respective singles, and you could argue started to change the whole sound of popular hip hop. It's also a well known fact that hip hop fans have a terrible time just enjoying multiple artists. It's always a contest. But that's what makes rap so interesting. So today, I'm gonna put these two similar artists head to head and figure out who's better. Of course, this is just my opinion, so share yours in the comments while I break down exactly how I'll be judging this. There are four categories I think are important when recognizing an artist's talent, and those are voice and flow, arguably both of these artists' best asset, lyrics, a cornerstone of an artist's skill for hip hop fans, production, choosing the right beat is imperative to making great music, and image. That includes style, personality, the company they keep, and more. Before you get upset, let me say this. One, I'm judging them as an artist, not just a rapper. And there's more that goes into being a full artist than actual rapping abilities. And two, again, I want to hear what you think. So tell me what categories I should have included or what I might have overlooked. All right, let's get this started with flow. Both of these artists are primarily known for their flow. And a lot of people might argue that it's about the only thing they have. I think Yachty's digitally enhanced sound was a game changer in that a lot of fans gravitated to the fact that he didn't attempt to use it to mask his poor singing. He embraced it. And that's what made songs like One Night and Minnesota go viral. Because it wasn't anything like you'd ever heard before. But it also wasn't bad either. Uzi Vert on the other hand probably has a bit better of a voice in terms of being on key and isn't as reliant on augmenting his sound like Yachty is. That's not necessarily a positive compared to Yachty, but I think in this case, Uzi's a little more pleasing to listen to. If you're introducing someone to both of these artists for the first time, I bet nine times out of 10 that Uzi's sound doesn't require the listener to get what he's trying to do as much as Yachty's does. Lyrically, this is a pretty tough one. Both of these artists aren't too worried about what they're saying compared to a lot of rappers in the game. I'm not even gonna begin to analyze the lyrics one by one because I could find more duds and great bars in both of these artists respectively, but there's one clip that gave me a little more hope for Yachty as opposed to Uzi in terms of lyricism. His freestyle on Beats 1 with Ebro. Uh, yeah, hey. Lucy Ducey, the jokes on you, I didn't grow up the boosy. All I care about is feeding my family and getting out of that camera. I'm in the bands and I'm getting a Bentley. I'm reading text from last night. She said, I love how you been. Again, we're not talking Kendrick levels here, but he at least showed a bit of versatility, and I can respect that. Yachty gets a dub here. As far as production is concerned, I almost stopped my argument after hearing Uzi Vert's Do What I Want. That's one of my favorite beats right now. But of course, they both have uh, strong points of their own. While both Yachty and Uzi's bread and butter are bubbly, synth-laden melodies, they each approach it in their own way. Uzi takes a more traditional route with his production compared to Yachty, who's wrapped on sampled Mario 64, Rugrats, and other really unique production. Yachty gets this one too. Both rappers are also similar in that they're known for their unique image. Yachty and Uzi both have a unique sound, but it's also each of their signature hair colors and clothing styles that help fans latch on and identify with them as superstars. Uzi's probably got the edge on Yachty as far as fashion goes, but Yachty had the honor of single-handedly bringing back Nautica into popular fashion for his fans. Yachty's red hair is a trademark, probably just a bit more recognizable than Uzi's, but it's their mainstream image where Yachty is able to edge out Uzi a little more. Being part of Kanye's fashion show, having his music on major brands like Sprite and Target's commercials, as well as the five times platinum collaboration with Drum, Yachty takes this win again. To be fair, both of these artists are two of my favorites. I probably honestly listen to Uzi's music more, but when I break it down, Yachty is clearly the more overall interesting and talented of the two. I think his future is a lot brighter than Uzi, and I think what he's doing is a lot more different than what Uzi brings to the table. If you like what you saw, subscribe, like this video, comment below and tell me who you want to see face off next. There's definitely going to be more of these in the series, so um, give me your opinion and let me know what you want to see me do in the future. Thanks.